Well, good afternoon, everybody. Happy Friday. And happy third day of Eid. So today is the third, like the last official day of the, the last Eid official holiday. day of the Eid holiday. Hello. Oski, how are you feeling? Good. But so did you know Eid that this? Oh, that's nice, Harry. Eid Mubarak. Did you know that this year, um, the way that Eid has fallen on a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday means that most of businesses, many businesses in Morocco, many shops aren't opening until Monday. So in it's fact, like a even extra the long. Yes, in fact, even the car park that we stayed in was closed for like two full days and one full night. What? Eat? for Eid, um, which was like pretty much unheard of. I think they've never closed like that before. So pretty cool. So guys, we are heading out of the Medina in Rabat today and we're going to a place called Hassan, Hassan Tower. Towers. Yeah. Tower, sorry. Yeah, so it was originally a minaret. I'm gonna read a bit more details about it. Minaret built that was actually never finished as a mosque. And it was at the time of building going to be, I think it's the 12th century. Yes. which is very old, especially coming from New Zealand, that's very old. But um, I think it was destined to be the tallest mosque, uh, minaret in the world at that stage. Yeah. And as we the now know... The tallest one in Iran? Uh, I'm not, no, the tallest one now is Hassan the second mosque in Casablanca. Oh. And it's 140 metres, I think. Yeah. So. The one in Iran we saw 120. Was it? Yeah. Oh, that might be the tallest. Yes, it was with the air conditioning, like the original air conditioning in yards. True. All right, guys. Anyway, we're about a kilometre away, so we're going to go for a walk and yep. we'll take you and show you the... Okay. Beautiful street art out here, by the way. And it's a stunning day. Another beautiful, beautiful day in Morocco, in Casablanca in Morocco. All the coffee shops are open again, so everybody's having coffee. It's nice. It's nice to be... It's nice to be here. Here we are guys. A pretty short walk but we're here at the Hassan Tower and it's good. Let's go and check it out. I love the shape of these trees. Yeah. That looks like a Dr. Zeus tree. I just noticed that. It's super windy today. I wonder if it's because of the wind. Yeah. Wow, like look at this. Tree. Oh, worth the walk, eh? Yeah. Look at this place. Look at the old and the new in the, in the distance there. The massive marina over there. Look at that. Very good. Okay guys, well it was a beautiful walk here. Yeah, but very windy. Very windy, very windy, but unfortunately... It's closed. It's closed. And I guess I think it's yes. supposed to be in the fact that it's Friday Duma as well. Yes. And about that time of day. So here it is, guys. This is where we wanted to take you today. It's stunning though. Look how immaculate the gardens are. They really are immaculately kept. Yes, out. it looks beautiful. So tell us a little bit about... Oh, you did before, well, didn't you? We, I did before, but I, we just were reading. So it was actually... It was... Um, started in 1199 yes, AD. Just on the brink of the 13th yeah, just, century. Just on the brink of the 13th century. And um, it was, like the plan was for the minaret to be 60 meters tall. And I believe it's actually just over 40 meters was what, as far as they got. And the foundations were damaged in an earthquake. And the foundations were damaged, but not seven... until the 19th century or something. Or was 18th or 19th century, yeah, like yeah, much yeah. more recently. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I think it is also a mausoleum. That was the Lisbon earthquake. Is it? Yeah, it's the Lisbon earthquake. I'm not sure if it's the mausoleum of. Is it? Would it be the mausoleum of King Hassan II? I guess so. From 1999. Um, uh, that, we're not I quite was sure. Just there, I could see ten mosques, including. Oh Hassan. yeah, it's a beautiful spot. Like just over here, we could see this huge marina. And that's so the I'll Medina you, of Saleh. I'll show yes. you where all the mosques are. So one, two. Yeah. Three, yeah. four, there's a little one. Yes, five, three, four, six, seven, six, seven, five, six, seven, seven. Wow, so I mean, it's absolutely stunning. Take a look at these gardens. Look at this, it's seriously beautiful. There's 
there's a lot of a lot of maintenance goes into these gardens you can tell look at that Well, once again, I'm quite wowed at just how beautiful this place is. Um, Rabat, I remember the first time we came to Rabat, and as soon as you drive into the city, it is immaculately the kept. Manicured. Like the lawns and the gardens are just manicured, like yeah. to perfection. Yeah. Um, it looks, I mean, we love the sort of rugged, wild Morocco, and you know, we love the desert Morocco. Um, but these cities is just stunning. Rabat yeah. is definitely the most beautiful looking city, most yeah. beautifully manicured city, I think. Yeah, I think that sums it up really well. Like um, Morocco changes so much. Like we love the yeah. rugged side, the desert, yeah. and the mountain side of the Morocco. Coast. The coast is a beautiful, beautiful. And then you come to this um, like incredibly manicured cities, cities Casablanca, Rabat, mm. you know. Um, but this is the capital city is definitely the most Yes. Manicure, the most beautifully presented city. Yes. Agadir's yeah. right up there. Yeah. Agadir's got are. a beautiful And then um, all of the smaller cities too. You yeah, can go exactly, on to ages, yeah, but I reckon nothing outrageous. quite compares to Rabat. Yeah. And and so that's kind of why we've come back as well. Hey look at that, there's a little tuk tuk going past. There is too. Or a cycle ritual kind of thing. Yeah, true. Electric cycle ritual. True. So yeah. yeah, we have been absolutely wowed by Morocco, mm. the way it changes throughout the mm. throughout our journey through, how much it changes from city to city, town to town. We've really, really enjoyed the smaller little towns. Yeah. The and, smaller little towns have been you incredible. Know, so we've actually only got about 10 days left in Morocco, but we're going to finish, I think this weekend, we're going to finish with the last of our Ramadan series videos. Yes, and then we're going to go back. And then we're going to save, we're going to save the last of our um, experience up north next week in the north of Morocco again for the very yes. end of our Morocco series. So keep watching, series. keep watching. Keep watching, because we're going to take you all the way back to the desert, we're to taking, Zagora yes, and Mazuga, yes, yes. and all the way down to Gulmim and City So if you guys are watching it going, oh, these guys are crazy, they're going down to the desert now, it's way too hot. We've actually already done it. And we've got so many amazing people that we meet in places we want to show. So we're going to show Merlef, um, yeah. just, yeah, there's heaps, Tafraut, Tarudant. It just feels Fiznet. like yesterday we were sitting down and drinking tea Tengir. with Jamal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How incredible. Pasna. Anyway, so now should we head on back to the Medina? Yes. We've got to get back to the Medina. Let's go find a sugar cane juice I tell you what, let's cross the Medina. road so I can show them a little bit of the um, Yeah, the and we'll walk back along the Medina wall there maybe. Yeah. Okay. okay. Come on guys. We're going to have to revisit Hassan Tower another day and maybe add it to the end of this video. And just like that, we're back into the yeah, walls of the it's Medina. It's windy, it's just got a nice breeze coming through. Well, oh, maybe a little less windy here, but not up there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, this one. Hey, this is Mella Road. Like Mella. Mella was that district in Tetuan. Oh, yes. Maybe it's part of the souks. And I just saw the next oh. one was like the road of dispen uh, dispensary. Like and of that. course, we're staying on Pakistan. Rue de Egypt? Rue de Pakistan? Yeah. yeah. Rue de Pakistan, yeah. <laughs> There's another one next to it, like Road Pakistan it is here, and Road to Egypt goes across and That's up. That's right. So, we didn't show it on camera, but I just saw the cutest baby kitten. It was actually just up there. And he was about like as big as my hand, and my hand is not very big, so he was very small. Here's some other cats. Mum, this is starting to turn into our Isaweta video. I know, there's a lot of cats in the video. A lot of cats. Oh, and we just saw like a mini gaming room, like with just a TV. Hey guys, this is kind of a cool part of the Medina, eh? Yeah. We're right actually by the sort of, on the other I side of this like is the ocean. Like a few days ago Yeah, we did come up this way. Here, right, Oscar, have you got blisters from walking around so much? Yeah. Oh, I think it's from the sweat rubbing against the top of the Oh sand. no, it is a bit like that. It's a beautiful day though today, it's really hot. We're just 
I saw a girl walking up here uh, with an ice cream, so maybe we'd I saw a little ice cream cat out there. Would you like to go and get ice cream out there? Who reckons we should get Oscar an ice cream? Uh, ice cream. Uh, ice cream. <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> All right. All right, who deserves an ice cream? Me! I deserve one, I totally deserve one, no questions asked. Let's go and get one. Wow, that breeze is really nice. I feel like there's still so much closed. And we're just looking at all these shops selling beautiful abayas and jellies. How amazing does everyone look for eat by the way? Yeah. It's kind of hard to film around everyone, but Morocco, we are in awe of Morocco. And actually, Sarah, how cool do you look in your hat? Well, it's actually Gavin's hat, but um, all these beautiful jellies everywhere. But everywhere, even when we're up just now at the Hassan Tower looking down on the road and you can see people out sort of walking along the corner each there. Yes. Look at them, look at these. I know. Look at them. Bonjour. Salam. Shabbat. How are you? Uh, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Shabbat. Okay, Oski. So, what are you getting? I'm getting an ice cream. We're Talk to me, guys. Oh, it looks like, like a softy with like. Oh, what's it called? Like, oh. I don't know what it's called, but it goes. It's like stripes going through it. Lovely. Show me, Oscar. Oh, wow. Look at that. Two different colours. It's like a sorbet. That's really Is mum having one? No, but I'm getting hair on. I don't need one, but it does look good. Harry. Well, that worked out well, guys. There's um, lots closed in the Medina today, but the ice cream today is open. It's good. <laughs> Okay, so you guys are ice creamed out. Have you got space for one of those sandwiches? Yes, I feel like I have pressure. Well, I haven't had one yet, so I feel like we need to get one before we go out. Oop, watch out. Reckon it feels kind of sleepy, Gav? Yeah? It does, eh? It does Do feel we already say sleepy. that on the camera? We're saying it to ourselves, but it does sort of feel, everything feels a little bit sleepy. Yeah. But look, it's nice to see things open again. It's a stunning day. This is where we very first got a Habrisha in our first time in Rabat. Oh, this, it is too, isn't it? Yeah, at this bright red shop here. And then he was saying the bakir, the crepes here as well. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. It was where we first saw it. Salam alaikum. Well, that habrisha was so nice. I know, so I didn't even get to film it. We've actually eaten the habrisha, but it was really nice. Yeah, so. we finished it in about one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and that guy keeps coming past saying you look like Harlan Harry. Mm. Claim it. So, I'll claim it, I'll definitely claim it. I've <laughs> actually got the t-shirt to prove it. Nice. All right. So guys, we actually just ran into a couple of YouTubers, um, one from Australia, one from the UK, True Blue Travellers. Yeah, True Blue Travellers. So, subscribe to them. Yeah, go those check guys. those guys out. Anyway, an awesome day out here, a very windy day out very windy in day. Rabat, and not quite and as, very hot as well. we didn't get to see the Hassan Towers as planned, but anyway, it's a beautiful day. Look at this, the Medina here is stunning. Yeah, it's looks really amazing. nice because um, we're in the car park, we're surrounded by buildings, so it is like quite hot. But when you're in the Medina, you get that nice sea breeze on you. And True. It's so nice. It is lovely. Oh, well, and we will see you on the next day. Don't forget to like and subscribe.